An object is thrown vertically upward from a height of 2 meters with an initial velocity of 2 meters per second. How fast was it going when it hit the ground, and how much time did it take? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to write down um, a drawing first, and then we're going to write down our initial givens. Now, if an object is thrown vertically upward, uh, it has an initial velocity. It has an initial velocity caused by the force that you're going to toss the object in the upward direction. Now, gravity is acting on it in the downward direction, so the object is going to slow down and come to a stop. So your final velocity is going to be equal to zero. zero. All right, so this object is starting at a height of two meters already. So we're going to draw the ground. We're going to draw a dotted line to represent that height of two meters where the object is starting. You throw the object up, and it's going to go for some distance and some amount of time until it gets to a final velocity equal to zero, and then it's going to fall straight back down. I'm going to draw this second path of the trip over a little bit, but don't draw an arch connecting those two because the object is moving straight up and then straight down. All right, so what we know, the initial velocity is equal to what? Two meters per second. Two meters per second. The final velocity is equal to zero, and we know that gravity on the Earth is always averaged at 9.81 meters per second squared. We don't know how high up the object is going to go, and we don't know how long it's going to take the object to get to that height. So, I usually start out by just looking at the very first equation. Vf is equal to Vi uh, minus Gt. The negative sign, because the object is going up against gravity, so that's going to slow it down. We know final velocity, we know the initial velocity, we don't know the time, but we do know gravity. So we can solve for the time right off the bat. Uh, Vf minus Vi is equal to negative Gt, and then time is equal to Vf minus Vi over negative G. Time equals Vf is 0 minus 2 over negative 9.81, and we'll plug that in our calculators really quickly. Uh, 2 divided by 9.81 gives us 0.204 seconds. I usually, whenever I write a decimal point, I always write 0 0.204 just to let me know there's a decimal there. Uh, sometimes if you're writing in pencil, it's hard to see your decimal points, so make certain that you make those decimal points um, visible. Uh, put a 0 in front of it. What happens to the negative signs? They cancel. All right, so these negative signs cancel out, and so your time is positive. Now we're going to solve for the distance, because we have the time. How high up will the object travel? Um, distance is equal to VIT minus one-half GT squared. Again, you could use any of the five linear equations for free fall. You just have to pick and choose. Uh, as you, If you write an equation down, analyze it really quickly to make sure you have all of the variables but one. We don't have the distance. We have initial velocity. We have time now. We have gravity and we have time. So we can use this equation to solve for how high up the object will go. Distance is equal to VI is 2, time is 0 0.204, right, minus 1 half, gravity is 9.81, time is 0 0.204 squared. Now you have to be careful about this here. A lot of people will type in 1 half G and then the time and then square the whole thing. Don't do that. The only thing that you square is the time. Okay, so when I write it, I write it like this to let me know when I punch it in the calculator, only the time should be squared. Uh, clear it from the last calculation, and then 2 times 0 0.204 will give me 0 0.408 minus, you could have done that in your head actually, um, 0 0.5, 9.81. And then times 0 0.204 squared. Hit enter, you get 0 0.2412. 0.204. And I'll just leave it as 0.204. Okay, so distance is equal to 0 0.408 minus 0 0.204, which is going to give us 0 0.204. 0.204. Okay, good. Now, that's how high up it will go. Now, the problem is um, we're trying to find. How fast was it going when it hit the ground, and how much time did it take?
That's how much time did it take to go the whole trip. You had to solve for the trip up before you could solve for the trip down. And then we're going to add the two times together. So now, starting at the very uh, top, we have an object that is traveling straight downward. The initial velocity is the old final velocity, which is now equal to zero. zero. All right, so initial velocity is zero meters per second. Uh, final velocity, we don't know. That's the velocity that the object is going to have the split second before it hits the ground. How high is it right now? How high up is it? Not 0 0.204. 2.204. 2.204. It was already 2 meters when you started out. All right, so it's now 0.204 meters up, which is, uh, if you think about it, well, not the scale, but uh, just to give you a general idea, um, 0.204 up. So 2 meters plus 0.204, the height up is going to be 2.204 meters. Now, we don't know the time. Time equals question mark. We know gravity is still 9.81. All right, but on the first part of the problem, gravity we took as being negative. 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 And on the trip down, it is now positive. 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 Good. All right, we know three things. Uh, initial velocity, distance, and gravity. We don't know final velocity or time. Um, I'll go straight to Vf squared is equal to Vi squared. And this is going to be plus 2gd because you're going with gravity downward, so it's positive. Uh, we're looking for final velocity. Initial velocity is zero. That's gone. So Vf is going to be equal to the square root of two times gravity times the height. So Vf is going to be equal to two times 9.81. And the distance is 2.204. Take the square root of all of that. And someone double check my work. Two times 9.81. 2.204, enter, 6.6, very good. All right, we rounded that up. Uh, it's 6.575 or 6.58, I don't really care. You can round that up to 6.6 .6 and that's perfectly fine. All right, now let's go ahead and solve for the time. Now this will be the time for the trip down. It's not the time for the entire trip. We're going to have to add those two times together later. Uh, via is equal to vi plus gt, the plus sign because you're going with gravity, and time is going to be equal to vf minus vi divided by g. Time is going to be equal to final velocity of 6.6 .6 minus initial velocity of 0 over 9.81. And since we rounded, we might get a small uh, rounding uh, error here. It's not that big of a deal to me, though, 6.6 .6 divided by 9.81. Um, so you get a time of 0.67 seconds. Um, if you're, if you get a different answer by the uh, hundredth place, uh, that's not going to be that significant to me. Um, your time for the trip down is 0.67 seconds. Um, the total time is equal to 0.204 plus 0.67, and so that would be a time of point. The total time is going to be 0.874. Uh, final velocity uh, right before it hit the ground is 6.6 .6 meters per second. The total distance that it would have to travel uh, would be, um, it's 2.204 plus another 0.204. So the total distance is 2.408 meters. 